Fourth in Salt Lake City, known for her inconsistencies. She blames it on a constant striving for perfection, burdened by expectations, but she says she's matured, no longer fears not being perfect, no longer afraid of making mistakes. Her coach and steadying influence, John Nix. The third of the three Americans. The other two, Meister and Hughes, in the top six. And the pressure now falls on the slight shoulders of Sasha Cohen. put the pressure on herself to be perfect and is trying to avoid that and yet she has to be perfect to stay in the game. Opening combination again, triple lutz, double toe. Ah. Look at that back position as she comes out. That is the straightest thing you've ever seen and that turn right there with her foot in that position, exceedingly dangerous. jump the triple flip one she struggles with <laughs> can touch her on this spiral sequence. This is perfection. The judges are a member of the audience. The audience is buying it, and I'm sure the judges are too. What a performer. But this program has it all. It's got all the technical goods. It's got fantastic choreography, musicality, personality. <laughs> wow. The best for last. The real Sasha Cohen has finally arrived. And she's made her case for gold. You know, there's no greater burden than having potential. And boy, that burden was lifted tonight. Representing the United States of America, Sasha Cohen. I don't know about you, but I found myself all the way through the very last seconds just holding my breath, saying, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, don't lose it, hold it. And I, I mean, I'm just so pleased that she could be able to give that kind of a performance. It will do well for her confidence. Look how delighted she is. That erased a lot of sour memories.
It was a free performance. So often the top skaters will come in and compete cautiously, especially in the short program. And what a difficult place to skate, knowing what all of your competitors have done, knowing that Slutskaya was clean, knowing that Arakawa was clean, and expected to be one of the competitors competing for gold, the last skater, she answered. All the changing of coaches, all the moving around the country, all the search for perfection. Well, it was right there all the time. It was such a wise move to come back to John Nix. He knows her best, and he's a brilliant coach. <laughs> oh, I, I, he's got the best sense of humor. I've known him since the Olympics in 1948, and he never ceases to make you laugh. As good as she was technically, the second mark, the component marks have got to be through the roof. No one does this like Sasha Cohen. We've seen so many ugly positions in this spiral, and she is glorious. The stretch <laughs> and the fire, the fire in her eyes and in her performance, the solidity of the edge, she's just got it all. Someone once told me if you take a still picture of somebody anywhere in their program and if they're in a beautiful position, that's success. And that's Sasha. Needing 66.71 to take the lead. Here are the marks for Sasha Cohen. Marina Sliskaya has gone. Arakawa is still here. 35.33, 31.40, 66.73. First place for Sasha Cohen. This is going to be a fight in the long. Look how close this is. And their qualities are so different. A virtual tie at the top. Sasha. And look how close it is with three of